It's hard to breathe, but that's alright. Hush. Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to a new video. And this one, I'm going to be going over into the risk management side of things. So let's jump into it. So risk management. So pretty much it's just how I manage my risk uh, and an exclusive tip to increase your profitability as well. So when it comes to money management, this is how I do my things. So I have two positions open that equals to 1% max. And then the reason that 1% max is my 1% max per trade. So what do I mean by that is? So I have, if I'm risking 1%, I will split those two positions up, right? I'll split them into different positions. I'll have half percent on that one, half percent on that one. The reason I do this is I'll jump into it in a minute, but I simply just have one one into one one RR, and um, the other RR, you know, go into the full desired amount. Now, the reason I do this is simply because it helps increase profitability and increases our strike rate as well. Uh, Four percent risk exposure to it per day. So what I mean by that is if I'm taking, you know. Um, three trades and I win all of them and then I take four trades and I lose the rest of the four trades within that day right I will stop trading completely and move on to the next day so it's my risk tolerance that I'm exp happy with um, I will go into these more in depth about them in a minute 8% weekly drawdown okay so 1% risk per trade so at all times my max risk per trade is 1% I don't feel the need to go any higher however I may sometimes risk 0.5% right so half 1% what um what I do is I open two positions, both risking um half percent on each. So when placing the trade, I open two trades, which equals to one percent max. I have one trade run for a one to one risk reward ratio, and I let my other trade run to the full desired amount, so it increases the profitability. So that's the exclusive tip. Very it's very powerful. Uh, next up, I have four percent risk exposure per day. So this means I am okay with opening four trades a day with one percent on each trade. Okay. Um, now you must understand is when I do this, um, I don't actually. You know, I don't. I very rarely do this, right? If I these days, if I open one trade and it wins, I just stop trading for the day. But if I open one trade <clears throat> and it's like a break even, I'll take another one. If I lose that, I'll take another one. But I'm allowing myself to that four percent max risk per day. Okay. Um, like I said, it's very rarely I do this. I usually take one trade a day, um, even like two trades a week. Um, I just don't like trading as much recently, and I'm enjoying um. I'm, enjoy I'm just enjoying the swinger trades more, right? Then next up, we have 8% weekly drawdown. So I'm okay with being down 8% in a single week. However, this is rarely the case. It usually averages between 0 to 3% as I don't really place much trades, as I said. Um, but if I'm down 8% before the weekend, I will instantly stop trading for that week. So if it comes to Wednesday, I'm down 8%, I will stop trading. This may seem like a lot, but we have to give ourselves room to breathe because if we have a 4% weekly drawdown, that means we're only going to allow ourselves to have four, you know, four trades open, and then if we see that you know a special trade opportunity, like the highest probability trade setup, obviously there's still a chance it won't go in your favour. But if we take that high probability trade setup, but we don't place it on our account because we're eight percent down, and it goes your way, it's going to be a pain. So pretty much what I'm saying is just give yourself room to breathe. Now this is. My, me personally this is my risk tolerance it may be more for you maybe less for you it doesn't really matter but over time this is averaging what i'm allowed okay with it will only stay like this i will rarely change it okay so that was pretty much it when it comes to how i manage my money in terms of trading so how i have the money in the account um and you know if you want to copy that it's absolutely fine if you don't just adjust it and uh you can tweak it over time anyway so um yeah um as a you know that exclusive tip as well when it comes back to that all i'm saying is um pretty much open two trades with half percent of risk on each which equals to one percent right have one trade run to a one to one restored ratio so you if that trade for example hits to take profit you're equal into one percent then right so that's one percent and then if the other trade comes and hits the stop loss and you've lost lost over half percent you only made half a percent well, but or break even, right? It's just it's just very powerful, and trust me, guys, you can't knock it until you try it. So make sure you try it. So I know it's a pain when you're taking confirmation entries because you got to be quick. But if you're taking limit orders as well, so a risk entry um, after the confirmation entry, just have the limit orders and um, open to those positions, right? But I know I understand it's hard if you're going to be scalping because you can't really ha you don't have time to do that. So um, yeah. Um, but as always, guys, I hope you gain value in this one, and I catch you on the next one.